Hey, what's up, my legion? I wanted to uh, do this video reviewing this one product. I saw a comment that someone left me a couple days back. Someone named Dari314. They've been commenting on my videos for a while, and they asked me to do the Doritos Jacked flavors. I mean, the Doritos Jacked, what are these? Test flavors. I was at Surefine. I found one of these. I guess there's three of them. And it's something where you can try the experimental flavors, vote for your favorite flavors, and you could win $1,000 in real gold, which is pretty cool. It has the additional test flavors available. There must be more than three, maybe. But the one I have is test flavor 855 Now, the suggested retail price was 429 I got it for 350 is isn't too bad. It said right here, bold experimental bold flavor experiment be a bold taste test and you can get paid in gold it doesn't say which flavor it is it's just like a number and at 140 calories per bag uh, 12 percent total fat eight great grams or one gram saturated fat no cholesterol 240 milligrams sodium 16 grams carbs no sugar two grams protein four percent vitamin a and that's about it pretty much in here uh, let's check these out i'm really Interested in seeing what uh, this is. This is something completely different for me to do. And you see the light shining off there because it's all like a silver bag. All right, let's see what. I have no idea what flavor this is. It smells like uh, like Italian seasoning. It smells like an herbal scent. Mm. It might be good. I don't know. Maybe this is pizza. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't know. That's what they look like. Let's see what they taste like. Yeah. I could be completely off the mark by this, but this kind of reminds me of like a bold zesty pizza flavor. Because they're jacked, and jacked is like... Um, when they say Doritos Jack, they 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 overload it with uh, the spices and the seasoning. Yeah, I'll say it's pizza. It tastes pretty good, and it um it starts out a little plain, and then halfway through the eating it the bold flavors come out and you get like a big tartness and you get a little bit of orange fingers a little bit but these are pretty good I give these um, I'm saying they're pizza flavored it says test flavor 855 I could be wrong but it tastes like pizza flavor to me so I give these a good solid nine and a half out of ten almost a whole ten they're really good I do recommend Doritos Jacked test flavor 855 so that's that part and this right here is my pop I'm gonna have a little pop once again it's the Clover Valley uh, Diet Cola uh, one thing I want to talk about uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about now uh, one thing is it's kind of weird if you go on your video manager and click on comments for a video it'll just show the other person's comment and then it won't show your reply and you feel like kind of an asshole because you didn't think you replied to these people. And then when you press the reply thing, it says view one reply, which is the one you gave them. I don't like that. I mean, they have both things on the community, but I wish they wouldn't do that. I know I'm complaining about something else again, but I mean, you feel like an asshole. You say, oh, shit, I forgot to reply to them. And then you go to reply, and then it says you already replied to them once you, as soon as you click that reply button. That's one thing. And today... Uh, my one friend from work helps me, you know, we get our checks and cash them. I give him gas money. He was there with his wife and his brother. I haven't seen his brother in a while. I'm not saying any names. I don't know if they want to be mentioned on here. And we were going, we just stayed in town in Albion. And it was weird because I went all the way in Surefine and then in Surefine, the two sections they have that are the frozen foods are completely empty. I don't know what happened. And it's weird because the section that, that uh, those two sections are a section where I usually get the pepper steak and the hash brown patties, which are awesome. And also, if you buy an ox roach, which is in a different section, right, 
you have to go to the freezer section, you pick up a free thing of gravy. And there's no gravy. So I wonder how many people are going to buy Oxford so they don't get that thing of gravy. They might feel cheated. They might not buy it because it's expensive anyways. It's Right now it's six dollars of five ninety nine a pound which is really expensive. When I got it it was four ninety nine a pound. And it was a lot cheaper, but usually it's expensive. But it's really good stuff. I wonder how many people are gonna do that. I was surprised that the whole thing was completely empty. The other freezer stuff is the stuff in the corner, I know you've probably never been there, were completely empty. It really shocked me and then I went to Dollar General and right before you go to Dollar General there's a car wash there's giant construction going on right there. I went to Dollar General. I had to pee real bad. Their water is completely shut off. So, couldn't pee there. I had to go to McDonald's. I wanted to use up my coupon for uh, buy one, get one free coffee. Couldn't, no water. The bathrooms were out of order. They couldn't use the bathrooms. And it was weird because all the water for their pop was gone. Almost, well, except for one or two drinks were gone. And they just had syrup. And they were talking about going to the grocery store and buying cans of pop. I don't know how that's going to work out. Where it's, you know, they have different sizes, small, medium, and large. I don't know, medium be two cans of pop, large be three cans of pop. I don't know. But they were freaking out about that big time. And also, along with that, I couldn't use that coupon. And then I wanted to get some lotto tickets. You know why. Uh, or maybe you don't. But I want to get some lotto tickets. I had a coupon where you buy one, one multi... Uh, one Mega Ball Millionaire ticket, and you get a free daily number ticket, you know. Well, the multi Mega Millions one is two bucks, and you get a free dollar uh, daily number for that night. And uh, it sucks because you couldn't get any low tickets because the computers were down. Like I said, Elmie's a crappy town. Computers are usually down, had problems with water. They've been having problems with this water supply for I don't know how long. It's terrible. You know, but it's so such are the follies for living in a small town, you know. And like I said, um, that one abandoned, they built a new Dollar General a couple of years back, and that, that I showed a little bit while I was shopping there uh, last week. And the old Dollar General is going to be a family dollar. They must have start uh, started uh, construction on that or remodeling inside because I saw a porta potty right outside the right outside the building. You never see a porta potty right outside the store. Well, you're gonna go, uh, <laughs> gonna go shopping. So, hey, if anyone's walking, you have to take a crap. Go in that thing, baby. But I, I hope it's clean. Ugh. But you know, you never know. So I thought I'd tell you about a couple little things that happened aside from that. And that movie, Backwards. Oh, it's so terrible. Last I saw one scene. I mentioned in the other video. Well, anyways, that's all the stuff I wanted to talk about. Oh, and also tonight, uh, the Cranesville Fire Department is bringing back. Their uh, buffalo wing, uh, buffalo wings and fries and stuff. I plan on going down there, maybe an hour or so, depending on if. Well, hopefully, everything will be fine, and I definitely want to get some wings there. And I'll probably be taking a picture of it and posting it on my uh, Facebook group, movies, food, some movie, food, and metal. And um, because last year I did two videos about that. I did support your local fire department, and then I did one where I got the bone-in wings, because I was getting boneless for a while. I got tired of those. The bone-in wings, the, the real chicken wings, and heating them up in the oven. I cooked them a little more well done, because they weren't as well done as I usually like. I made a cool video about that, too. So I probably won't be making a video, but I'll definitely be taking a picture and posting it in my Facebook group. And back to the main topic. I give these a 9.5 out of 10 for Doritos Jack Test Flavor 855. They're really good. I believe it. I'm saying it's pizza flavor. It doesn't say I'm saying pizza, but it's really good. And I really liked it. It's, it's actually definitely worth the money. It might be a little more expensive. Three three fifty was expensive, but I don't know. Every, all the prices of food are going up pretty much. So till next time, hey, take care, of my legion. Hope you all having a great day. All right, bye.